welcome back to Cruising as Crew. I hope you are doing well. Uh, in this video, well, we're going to start out by getting my medical. So in the last video, I told you that I am in Cozumel and I'm here to get a medical before I join my new cruise ship. So today is the day of getting the medical and then I don't know what we are going to do after. We'll see. So I'm going to go and brush my teeth now and then we're going to set off. Off we go. A few of the locals that we've spoken to have said it's not the safest area, so probably not the smartest thing to be walking along with a phone on a tripod, but hey ho, I don't, I haven't felt unsafe. Even though like people have said it is, we've felt relatively... Yeah, I mean you're cautious. Yeah, of course. Because you know, you're in a place you don't know. But nothing's made us feel unsafe. We have no unsafe <laughs> characters. And there's just a dog hanging out of a balcony there. Yeah. A bit scary. I mean, the, the thing I'm most scared of is the pavement situation. The pavement situation is, uh, is interesting. I'll show you. Oh, it looks fine That's now. Nice. We've got onto. Okay, I'll show you a little bit later. But in a few places, it looks like, um, it looks like a bomb has gone off. There's just rubble everywhere. Nice ride. Here we are. So Costa Med is what we are looking for. We're gonna do our medical. This is nice. They've just given us the form of what we can expect here today. So registration, completion of forms, payment, batteries, x-rays, vital signs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And we won't have crew ID numbers yet because we're a concession. Okay, don't, don't worry. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay uh... Vision of the Seas. Isn't it the Seas? Oh, yeah. That's so exciting. When are you joining? Uh, November 4th. I still have time. Ah, uh, you do? You have a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, how come you not just vacation? Yeah. Ah, wonderful. Amazing. Yeah, if you're ready for vacation, I got to do my medical before because you cannot do it on board because some food starts to get. Yeah, of course. Wonderful. Yeah. 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 A lot of waiting around, really. Um, I mean, like in terms of the service, it's no no better or worse than anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, no, the service is great, but whenever you get a medical, wherever yeah. you get it done, it's just. I mean, considering a lot the time is now ten forty-eight. What time did we get here? Nine. Well, well, actually, we got here at quarter two because we wanted to be oh, early. Yes. So the entire thing so far has taken two hours, and will continue to take longer. Yes. Well, hopefully we're at the last stage now, aren't we? Because we just I need to so. talk to the doctor. Yeah, the doctor just fills so, out stuff and stamps it. But we will have to come back in a couple of days for the blood work. Yeah. Oh my God, so we have finally gotten out. It is one in the afternoon. We've got a oh, so it has taken a very long time. Kind of annoying, so I failed the medical <laughs> um, because my iron is low. So for those of you who have been watching my videos for a long time, you will know that this actually happened before. I failed the medical and it was for the exact same reason. My iron is too low. So she's she was like, I'm gonna put you on a course of iron tablets and then in a week, we will retest your iron and hopefully it's fine and i was like well i'm i'm not gonna be here in a week like i i'll be in miami in a week hopefully joining the ship it was a little bit stressful because unfortunately i couldn't just get it all done in one sitting i'm gonna have to go back um in a few days and have my bloods taken again and also we are just gonna go get some lunch now we're absolutely starving and i have to go back for another scan so yeah a little bit long-winded 
taking a lot longer than we anticipated, but hey, it's just just what you gotta do. So we have come for lunch at Tacos y Tortillas. Yes, guacamole! Chicken octopus shrimp. Good choice. Now we've just scarfed down some tacos. We are going to go back to the medical center because I need another scan and I need some iron tablets. Lovely. Thank you. All right. So we have left. Never ever had a medical that's taken that long before. Um, I mean, everyone was lovely, it was very professional, but it was just a lot of waiting around. And that last scan um, that I just had was seven, what, nearly 800 American dollars. And that was on top of um, what I'd already paid for the original medical which was 271 so that is a thousand dollars that I have spent today oh plus the medication for the iron and how much was that eight a hundred dollars all right <laughs> yeah it's been an expensive day here was me thinking coming to Mexico would be cheap and cheerful um not really well everything else is but yeah just Annoyed that it took so long and annoyed that um, I had to pay out that much. I will get re I will get reimbursed for it. So I've got something in my eye. I will get reimbursed for it, but it's just a lot of money to outlay at the start. Alright, so we are back at the flat now and we've just had uh, probably about an hour just just to chill and de-stress and calm down after today. Um, I am a bit stressed because so I'm on these intensive iron treatment tablets but if my iron levels don't improve then it means that I will fail the medical which of course is gonna um, affect me being able to join the new cruise ship and it's just really annoying that I had a medical not two months ago to join the cruise ship that I just left and it was all fine so it's a bit this is what this is what you find like I had a medical in the Bahamas and this medical's in Cozumel and every medical centre does things slightly differently and Cozumel are just being extra thorough which I suppose is a good thing I'm going to get changed, we're going to go out, um, explore a little bit, um, get some dinner. Um, so, because we only have, we only have a stove, but we don't have any pots, pots and pans or anything. Um, and for the price of everything, it's like, we may as well just eat out for every meal rather than go and buy pots and pans and plates because we're only here for a week. All right, we're ready. You're gonna have to ignore how creased this is. Everything's been in a case, so everything's creased. Look at this little guy, the little hummingbird. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Josh and I came to Cosmel on Valiant Lady, Valiant? no Scarlet Lady, yeah, on the Scarlet Lady. Um, we got a massage here and it was incredible. So we're hoping that we can get a massage there now just to continue de-stressing from the day we've had. It wasn't that stressful, I think it was just the fact that I thought I was gonna pay total maybe $500 for the day and it ended up being like over a thousand. 
and <laughs> I'm now we're gonna spend more money. It's, I just have to spend the rest of the week wondering if I'm gonna pass or not. So it is a little bit stressful, but I need to not worry about stuff that I can't control. So I'm gonna forget about that and I'm gonna get a massage and then we're gonna get some wonderful Mexican food. Woo! Oh, very nice, very nice. Gracias. How do you feel? Amazing, it's beautiful. Thank you. She was giving me a scalp massage and then she... Woohoo! Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Oh no, nice, nice little touch. We're gonna walk back through the square and get some food at La Chosa. Is that how you say it? Yeah, La Chosa. And we shouldn't go there because we've already been there. And we like we keep saying we need to try new places, but it's just so good. So if you are in Cozumel, if your ship is stopping in Cozumel, you have to eat at La Chosa. It is literally just at the back of this square, and it is. It's phenomenal, it's great. Like, we haven't Every had a. Every time it's good, we've we not had a bad video. Exactly. So. Okay. Black Chosa. Gracias. 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 Here we have the menu. Like, look at that. Have you ever seen guacamole look so good? Sorry, we um, finished having dinner. We finished having dinner last night and walked back to the apartment and just went to bed. All of that beautiful Mexican food made us extremely, extremely tired. I just, um, I've just stopped off at a breakfast place and got a smoothie. And I just love that you get it in a plastic bottle and you want to take it away. Hey, why not reuse those babies? So. Um, yeah, so I've got my little smoothie and now I'm going to go and have my nails done. I'm very excited. I have not had my nails done in like oh, three months. So yeah, it's going to be good. Glamour Build a Spa. Just 
So we didn't have room for the donut, but how much did it come to? Uh, 539 dollars, which is... 30 dollars? No, less than that. Is it? Yeah, about 30. About 30 dollars. Right? The It was for collection. We have come into the shopping centre. Where we have already been. Yeah, we've already been. Somebody... Uh -huh. Yeah, queen. Like oh my god, do the thing. Da -da 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 -da. It's so catchy. We hate that song, but it is so catchy. I'm a ten, so I got me a Ken. I listen. I love Ice Spice. Not enough to actually listen to the song, but just in the meme format. Uh. This restaurant that we're going to is literally just behind us. I'd say from like where the cruise ship docks, it's probably about, what is it, a 15 minute walk, babe? Maybe 20. Maybe 20, yeah. Okay, a 20 minute walk, but it is amazing. You are gonna see the food that we have tonight. It is so good. Hey, here we are. Hello. So this place is famous for the empanadas, so that's pretty much all they serve. But we had a Caesar salad, which is right down here at the bottom, and it was the best Caesar salad I have ever had. So, gracias. So this time me and Josh said we're what, gonna have a Caesar salad each, and then I think I'll get two empanadas, but you're gonna get three. Look at this distinguished gentleman. <laughs> All right, this is our food, guys. Look at this. I wish, I wish you could smell it. It smells incredible. So this is the Caesar salad that is the best Caesar salad ever. Ah! These are mine and these are Josh's empanadas. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So this is Miles. This is his restaurant. I'll link the, the social media down below. Definitely check it out because the food is Amazing! Which Thank you, greetings and say hello when you come to Cosmel. Please come for this house. It's a great place, yeah. good food. Yeah, brilliant. And I am precious. Thank yeah. you for this. <laughs> no, really Our pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye bye. Eating our way through half the menu, like last time. This is our second time in three days. Yeah. Just so good. And as well. Um, so dollars is what $36 dollars. Thank dollars. So $18 each. And we had dessert for the first time. It was like a, what was it? A biscuit, stuffed, dolce de leche. Dolce, dolce, dolce de leche. Um, it was great. But yeah, if you're in Cozumel, I'll definitely come here. It's like a 20 minute walk, but it's worth it. You will, you will not regret it. And even if, if you look at the reviews on um, Google, it's, yeah. they've got great reviews. But anyway, I think we're ready to... Ready to go? I'm ready to go home and go to bed. Because I have my medical again tomorrow. Hopefully I pass. It's D-Day. So I'm going to have my bloods taken again. And uh, we'll see what the verdict is. Yeah. Either you might you might be joining alone, and I might be going home. Now we're smiling now, but if I fail, I won't be smiling. Oh yeah, we're. Uh... Hola, Victor. 
home sweet home, baby. Ooh. Good morning, everyone. Oh, I look, I look very tired. Oh. Um. Today it is Friday, and it is 7:30. Oh, sorry. Today it is Thursday, and it's 7:30 in the morning, and I'm gonna get my bloods retaken so I can hopefully pass my medical. Woo. Um. I am nervous. And I'm here uh, to have my bloods taken again. Mm -hmm. But will they be ready by today? Um, no. The doctor is not. Your medical is not ready today. His medical is ready today. If you, if you don't receive any email with the. Just speak to her for us, just because it, it, we, it should, it has to be ready. We're leaving tomorrow morning. And we need the we need the medical for tomorrow morning. They said it would be ready for Wednesday, yesterday, mm -hmm. and would come a day later. So, and I know it's not your fault. Oh, yeah. but I, of course, I know it's not your fault. Yeah, but, I know. Um, is you need right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it blood work or? <laughs> yeah, it's blood work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Allah, yeah, Allah. Yeah. Lucy's just come back to get her blood retaken. Lab said it'll be ready for about 12 o'clock. So. I still think I don't think I'll give it to you all the time. Thank you so much. Uh, mine, mine is ready, it just needs photocopying and everything. Ah, but, okay, okay. but Lucy's having her hair done at 10 o'clock, so I'm going to come back at maybe 1 or 2 p.m. to collect everything. Because I need the physical copies so I can scan them in and yeah. send them to my head office. Yeah, I hope everything is okay with you. Me too, me too. Anyway, right. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you anyway. Bye. My medical is obviously not ready, but should be ready about two o'clock if the results from the blood work are okay. So it's just it's just gotta wait and see. But as you heard there, I'm gonna go and get my hair coloured at 10 a.m. because it desperately needs it. We've just come for breakfast. At Mucky's, where we have been before, it's so nice. We've just walked here in the rain. So we're rather, we're rather soaked. Yeah, it's hey. <laughs> absolutely tripping it now. Oh, oh, this looks so good. Oh. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Honestly, if you are in Cozumel and you're looking for a good breakfast spot, this is absolutely nice. So good. So, as you may have noticed, my hair is a little bit lighter. I have basically spent the day at the hairdressers after I had my bloods taken this morning. Me and Josh obviously went to get breakfast and then went to have my hair done. I didn't film any of it because my wonderful hairdresser Conchie didn't want to be on con uh, camera, con uh, didn't want to be on camera, which is absolutely fine. But I just thought I'd show you the finished results. I'm not gonna lie, I was very, very apprehensive about getting my hair bleached in Mexico because obviously she's used to doing thick, black, Mexican, luscious hair. And mine is not that, but she has done a fantastic job. It doesn't look as good as it could because it's still raining, um, but I'm very happy with it. The color is fantastic. So if any of my girls are gonna be in Cozumel on a ship or something, and you need your hair done, you can Google shampoo spa, shampoo salon, shampoo spa and salon and Conchie can do your hair. She's very good, as I said. Um, but now we are just walking to get our medicals. Another thing that I'm apprehensive about, so we'll see if I pass or not. I don't know, don't know what I'm gonna do if I haven't passed. Moment of truth. It's the moment of truth to see if we, well, I have passed or not. A little bit apprehensive, not gonna lie. Very rosy cheeks. That top one's 
ECG. Yeah, Lucy. Lucy Jane. Double pass, double pass, double pass. Take a deep breath. Double oh. pass. Yay! High five, babe. Mm -hmm. We passed our medical! Yes. Oh my god, I'm so blonde. I'm so red. Hey guys, so just got back. I'm so sorry for the way I look, but we've just walked back in the rain again. I had to change my um, my clothes earlier. You noticed a little outfit change because on the way into town earlier, I just got absolutely drenched and I was like, there is no way that I can sit and have my hair done for like four hours while I'm soaking wet. Because obviously when you're soaked wet through and then you go into air con, you're freezing, so I was like, I need a dry change of clothes. So I got a nice little uh, Cozumel t-shirt with turtles on, which I'll probably never wear again, but you never know. It did the job. We are leaving tomorrow morning. We're flying to join our ship. Oh, I can't wait. I can and I cannot wait to bring you along. I'm so, 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 so excited for this new adventure with you. So I'm gonna pack. I'm not gonna film that though. You have seen me packing my bags far too many times and it, it doesn't get any more exciting so yeah I'm not gonna film that I'm just gonna end this vlog here uh, but thank you for watching I really hope you have enjoyed this video I know it's been a long time especially because I'm only posting once a week so thank you for being patient with me I, I really appreciate it and because I will be allowed to post on this new cruise line it means that I am open to suggestions basically so if you want tours if you want vlogs if you still want sit down videos whatever you want please let me know in the comments and I can't wait to see what you uh, what you want to watch because after all the only reason I do this channel is for you guys I love doing it don't get me wrong and you're always so supportive which always means the world but yes let me know what you want to see and I'm gonna try and accommodate as best I can but I hope you have had a great week I hope you have a great week ahead and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video where I will be joining my new cruise ship or we will be joining our new cruise ship and hopefully I will look a little bit better than I do now but anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video guys bye